What's up, Final Fantasy? Click the Final Cheapskate here. I know it's been like two weeks since I did a video. Uh, just doing Vinyl Finds video for June. Uh, a lot of stuff in June. I think I'm going to have two of these. Uh, this one's going to be primarily my punk and metal stuff. So this is all punk, metal that I picked. It's only punk and metal, yeah. It's all the punk and metal that I picked up uh, this month. Picked up a lot of classic uh, Oi stuff because it's been glaringly missing from my collection and it's stuff I love. Uh, and I'm also going to see Sham 69, which I hear is almost just a Sham 69 cover band and there's been a lot of controversy about it. But uh, I'm still going to go. When am I going to get a chance to go again? But yeah, I'm going up to uh, AC to see them play this weekend. So that should be fun. Uh, going with two of my, my best buds from uh, that area. So it'll be a good time going back to Jersey. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Uh, bunch, like I said, a bunch of good stuff. A lot of oi this month. I've uh, been on a big oi kick. So that's basically most of the punk stuff that I got is oi. Not all of it, but most of it. Uh, and I'll start off with an order that I got from uh, the sticker I just held up, No Norms Records. Check them out. Great, great online distro. So this was, this is, and this is also all the online stuff I got. I got some, uh, I did pick up some stuff from a local shop and a couple local shops this month. But I'm going to do a separate video with all the local shop stuff because uh, one of the shops is having a sale and they're clearing out their budget room. So 25 cent records. So if you want to see what I got from the budget bin, check out the next video too, because that's what that one will be. Uh, I might do it this weekend. I might do it early next week. I'm off Monday, so maybe I'll do it Monday. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah. So first thing I'm going to show is an order I picked up from No Norms Records. Uh, no Norms, great, uh, great distro from Boston area. So check them out if you get a chance. So I picked up this Lost Legion LP, which is uh, what we're listening to right now, is this Lost Legion LP. I'm trying to get the glare out of there. Uh, but yeah, Lost Legion, great, kind of like metal-tinged, slightly metal-tinged, like a little bit of dark, like goppy stuff in there, but really, in the core, it's oi. So, really good stuff. Check this band out. It's on a... Uh, this great label, Mendeku Discac. Uh, they're a Spanish label? I think they're Spanish label. But yeah, this came with a nice, nice little fold out, fold out poster that's pretty, pretty dope. Uh, really nice inner, inner sleeve artwork here. But very sick band. Uh, Really cool shit. I uh, love this band. Band does know there's something else in here too. Oh, it's the this guy uh, catalog. Yeah, there's a catalog in here too, but I won't show that. Uh, also picked up uh, Lost Legion EP. Always go with. Couple. If I can get a couple of a band I like, I'll grab a couple, especially when it's punk. It's mostly going to be good. Also on Madaku, Disc Yak. I think all three of these were Madaku, Disc Yak. So, if you ever want anything from that label, which is a great label, by the way, they put out really solid uh, hardcore punk and boy stuff. More kind of like metal tinged, uh, oi stuff, uh, agro. Uh, this is a great, well, kind of like a compilation, but it's a bunch of studio tracks on side A. Side B is the original demo that they put out that they put out in a on cassette, and they had a very limited amount, and it came in a, a burlap sack. So, I never got one of those. I would love to find one, but this is good for now. And Dr. Discac. Uh, Orgo plays really, really like harsh, rough, catchy oi stuff. Uh, 
really good band. Uh, one of my favorites right now. Uh, came with this uh, printed inner here. A bunch of pictures. These guys are from the Basque country. So, the Basque reason of Spain. So, really cool stuff. And there's the, the labels on black vinyl there. So those were, I was really stoked to pick that up. Uh, I actually ordered that straight from, uh, I just hit him up on Instagram because he posted on Instagram that he had this Orgo LP. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy that and the Lost Legion LP. He got them because really great, like I said, like catchy, kind of rough sounding, boy punk stuff. Both of these records are excellent examples of that stuff. Now a bunch of uh, stuff I picked up from Discogs. And these were kind of opportunistic buys. All of them were pretty opportunistic and they were all cheap, which is why I picked them up. Well, this one wasn't cheap actually. But most of them were, were really well priced and I just went for it. But uh, the first one I'm gonna show is this uh, Rocky in the Sweden. Total hardcore. Total hardcore record. Uh, Rocky in the Sweden, Japanese hardcore band. Uh, this one's from 2000, I think. I think this came out in 2000. They've been around since like the late 80s. Uh, just playing super fast, great uh, weed themed Japanese hardcore stuff. Great band. Uh, they could be lumped in with like a Burning Spirits type of thing. I don't really think that is it, but uh, and the the singer Rocky is like a huge, huge personality type guy, uh, but really great stuff. Uh, if this band ever comes to the U.S., they actually just put out a uh, split last year or the year before maybe with uh, Boris, so they're still around, still making music for like God, almost like. A little over 25 years now. They've been, they've been around since like 80, 88 or 89, I think. They've been around since the 80s, which is awesome that they're still putting out music. Picked up a couple that were glaring holes. And they were pretty much dirt cheap. They were like 12 bucks a piece. But uh, Sham 69, the Hersham Boys. Uh, listened to this album like a thousand times online and like... Friends of mine always had the CD and stuff, but I never picked up the vinyl for some reason. But yeah, finally picked this up. I believe it's a... Original Polydor pressing. Yeah, 1979. Gate Gold Edition. Really good shape, and I think this was like $12. If I'm remembering correctly. But really, really great, great stuff. Uh, yeah, this is great stuff. One of the, a, a total freaking classic. I mean, I mean, Joey's on the street. You're a better man than I, Hersham boys. What have we got? Like all these songs, just super classic stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm going to see Sham 69, so it reminded me like, why don't I have these records in my collection? And I also picked up this this little fella, uh, and this one was mislabeled, so I picked up Tell Us The Truth, and there were two discs in the sleeve, and I was like, what the hell's going on here? Did it, did it mislabel it? But it mislabeled it, and it also had, uh, it also had That's Life on the other side. So, two for one. Uh, it only was labeled as the Tell Us the Truth album. Uh, I ordered it, because it was, it was like, 
this one was also like twelve dollars, I think. I think this was like a twelve dollar record. And it came with the it came it's the double LP that has both their first two albums. So that was a super score. Uh, it's a little banged up at the bottom here. It looks like it got wet at some point. Uh, but there's no damage on the records at all. The records are like almost spotless. There's a few little scratches, but they were only labeled as good. And they're better than good. They're at least a very good, almost very good plus record on there. But super stoked to get this. This was like the score right here. Because I was not expecting a double LP when I got that. Also picked up another classic. Uh... Uh, this album by the Dix from Texas. Uh, Dix are great. This has been a glaring hole in my collection too. Uh, R.I.P. to Gary Floyd. Uh, kind of reminded me that I needed these when he passed away. and I think a lot of people were probably in the same boat. I listened to so much music I forget about the stuff I listened to when I was real young and the Dix were one of the ones I had to uh, Whatever that, there was a collection CD that was out, and I had it when I was younger, and it took me forever. This is like a 2000-something repress. I don't remember when. It's like 2002 or something like that, repress of this. But really great stuff. The Dicks, total classic stuff. I'll put that Orgo record on for you guys because that was a short side. But came with the inner sleeve and everything. It's a came out on Alternative Tentacles, of course. Uh, and that's well, no, that's not so. Yeah, another one that was a glaring hole. I've got one big one that was a really glaring hole. I'll be. I'm gonna pause this, put on another record. I'll be right back. Alright, there you go. Uh, this is the burlap sack side of that Orgo LP. Uh, so, continuing on, two more that I got from Discogs, uh, both from the same band. Uh, more stuff that I've been meaning to pick up for a while, and I would like to pick up a. I was, I was trying to wait out for originals to come up for a decent price, but these came up for like. I think they were. I think I offered 12 bucks a piece for these for this guy too. I, I sent an offer to this guy and he sent me these. These are the uh, the high roller represses of the Blood Feast. First couple of Blood Feast records. Uh, this one, Face Fate, is a uh, EP. It's only got four songs on it, but still four rippers on here. Uh, this album, complete and utter cl thrash classic that falls under the radar for a lot of people. Uh, this is really like Slayer influenced, uh, thrashy, heavy metal type stuff. Really good shit. Uh, you can hear the early Slayer influence all over this thing. Really excellent band. Uh, Blood Feast fucking rules. Uh, their newer stuff is really good too. Uh, they're still playing live. Uh, they just played live with uh, with uh, Nate from. Devoid of Faith's newer band, uh, Fright, not too long ago, like last year, and I almost drove up to Philly to see it, but I didn't. I didn't. I'm too lazy. But yeah, some total bangers right there. Uh, under the radar, thrashy, thrashy bangers. Uh, got three more records. Uh, these next two were actually from Amazon. Uh, I don't buy from Amazon often. Uh, someone gave me a gift card, so I picked up two that were glaring, glaring holes as we presses. I was like, what else am I going to buy on Amazon? Uh, they gave me a $50 gift card, so picked up Cox Bar's Shock Troops, which is shocking that I haven't picked up a copy of this yet. Uh, I have a burned CD of this that I've been playing uh, the last, like, 25 years or <laughs> so. Somebody burned a CD for me and I've been listening to it ever since. Uh, but this was all over the place. 
when I was in high school. This was one that was on constantly. Never endingly spinning this. This is the super shiny, uh, what's it, 50 year edition? Yeah, 50 year uh, edition. And yeah, see, it says 50 on that. In the Cox Bar logo on the record. But hey, I got it on wax, finally. I would love to get an OG of this at some point in my lifetime, but this will do. I mean, I don't think if that never happens, I'll be okay with it, because now I have that on vinyl. Uh, next is, I picked up a bunch of Candlemas records that were original, originals of like Nightfall, uh, I, I can't remember them off the top of my head, the, the, the next three after this one. Uh, Candle Mask, Epicus, Dumacus, Metallicus. Uh, this is the most recent repress, I believe. Uh, it was pretty cheap on Amazon, so I went for it and uh, figured why not complete that Candle Mask for now. Uh, yeah, it's a repress. Came with the Peaceville uh, catalog thingy. Printed inner. It's got kind of a weird inner label, Peaceville inner label. Which I guess is the modern Peaceville inner label, but hey, can't complain. Sick reissues. I uh, got a bunch of sick reissues this month, so super stoked. And like I said, it's all stuff that has been like glaring holes in my collection. And last but definitely not least, I might have showed this last time. I don't remember. I pre-ordered the new Candle Mass. Or Candle Mass. <laughs> they sound like Candle Mass. The new Crypt Sermon. Uh, Philly Doom Metal Band. Love this band. Uh, was very stoked to get it. Vinyl Altar. Vinyl Altar, like swampy, clear vinyl. Uh, this is a special edition. But that doesn't matter. I just wanted the music and this was the first one that popped up and I figured supporting a local shop from Philly is uh, a good thing to do. So I picked this up. This is awesome. Uh, if you like uh, kind of moody, really heavy doom with some like death metal riffage seeping its way in there, but not it's not a death doom band. They're definitely just a traditional doom metal band. So pretty sweet but yeah that's my punk and metal finds this month uh, i'm gonna have a budget finds slash in-store finds video soon uh so keep an eye out for that uh yeah thanks for watching uh like and subscribe anyway cheers everybody i'll see you next time